Hello friends, we have started with discussion of phytohormones or plant hormones. We discuss about its features. Then we also discuss about types of phytohormones. We started with auxin. We discuss about its discovery through various experiments. Then also discuss about physiological effect of auxin. Then we discuss about auxin biosynthesis pathways. Today, we are going to discuss about auxin signaling pathway. You can refer these in my previous videos. The link is given in the description box. Now let us discuss about auxin signaling pathway. We already know that auxin is a crucial plant hormone. It controls many aspects of plant growth and development. Or in other words, it has many physiological effects. And these physiological effects are brought about by transcription regulation or in other words by transcription regulation it brings about physiological effects. Auxin is responsible for changes in gene expression when a plant cell comes in contact with it or when a plant cell comes in contact with auxin it is responsible for changes in gene expression and this results in upregulation or downregulation of genes. Any signaling pathway has certain key components. Similarly, auxin also has certain key components. Let us discuss them one by one. First is ligand. It is signaling molecule. Here it is auxin. Receptor which binds with ligand. Here it is TIR1 AFB family of F box proteins. It is known as the auxin receptor. So it acts as auxin receptor plus it has E3 ligase activity. That is, it attaches polyubiquitin to target protein for its destruction. Third is transcription factor, it helps in transcribing necessary genes. Here it is ARF, known as auxin response factor. Then fourth is inhibitor. It suppresses the ability of ARF to enhance gene expression. Here it is aux slash IAA. Now let us see how the entire signaling takes place. There are two possibilities or two situations. First is when auxin is absent. Second, when auxin is present. So let us discuss them one by one. When auxin is absent, aux slash IAA which is inhibitor bind to and suppress the transcription activity of ARFs which is transcription factor. As a result of which transcription is suppressed and hence auxin signaling is off. So when auxin is absent it does not bind to TIR1 F box complex. Inhibitor aux slash IAA binds with ARFs which is transcription factor it suppresses or inhibits its activity the auxin signaling is off. So how it happens? When the aux IAA is at the promoter with ARF then this aux IAA recruits other factors to make modification to the DNA structure as a result of which ARF is not able to transcribe the genes and hence auxin signaling is off. Let us understand this with the help of the figure. Auxin is absent. Hence, auxin doesn't bind to this receptor. Inhibitor aux slash IAA comes and binds with ARF. It suppresses the activity of the transcription factor that is ARF as a result of which auxin response gene is not transcribed and we say that auxin signaling is off. Here aux IAA and ARF forms heterodimer. Second situation when auxin is present. Auxin forms molecular glue between receptor and aux slash IAA that is inhibitor. Receptor also 
excess ubiquity in ligase and leads to polyubiquitination of inhibitor ox slash IAA. Once inhibitor is tagged with polyubiquitin, then it is degraded by 26S proteasome. Now with the degradation of inhibitor, ARF transcription factor is free. Hence it transcribes the genes and we say that transcription of genes is on or the signaling is on. So auxine is present, it binds to receptor. This receptor then binds with inhibitor aux slash IAA. As a result of which the transcription factor ARF is free and hence the transcription is on or there is auxine induced gene expression. Let us understand this with the figure. Auxine is present. Auxine comes and binds with the auxine receptor. It acts as the molecular glue between aux IAA and receptor. This receptor also has the E3 ligase activity. It tags aux IAA with polyubiquitin. Then this inhibitor which is tagged with polyubiquitin undergoes proteolysis by 26S proteasome and hence it is degraded. In the absence of this inhibitor, this ARF is free, it forms homodimer and then results in the transcription of auxine response genes. We say that transcription is on. There is auxine induced gene expression. But if this is not regulated, then the transcription goes on and on. And this will result in the wastage of materials and energy. So there should be certain regulatory system. Among the genes that are transcribed or among the auxine response genes, there are certain genes that encodes for aux IAA, which is inhibitor of transcription factor. ARF. So when it is encoded, then this inhibitor comes and binds with the transcription factor and suppresses its activity. So it creates a negative feedback regulatory system and in this way it is regulated. So this is all for today's video. In the next video, we will start with another plant hormone, gibberellin. So stay tuned. If you like this video, please hit the like button, share it and subscribe my channel. Thank you.